something for Brandon Boston, for Bones Highland, to kind of figure some things out on what it's like NBA-wise in a tough situation to get. Kenny Lofton Jr. is out there, spent some time with Memphis. He's put up some big numbers in games late in the season. Baisley played well in that game last week for Utah. You know, somewhere where he struggled, you know, this year, but he was able to get that and knock it in. Or knock those in. Season high, 10 points. Settle South Paul strokes a three, rings the rim, rebound. There it goes, P.J. Tucker. May not be the biggest. We've seen this throughout the course of P.J.'s career, but he has a way of carving out space. Lofton beats Westbrook, count it, and a foul. And that'll send us to break. Sends the ball for three. It's a ball 17 points last night. We're able to do that in the postseason and shock some teams possibly. But the way they finished the year, it was from my vantage point, I expected it to be. I think you're calling for a challenge. We, gotta, <laughs> listen, we better have one challenge today so we can see the great Bill Kennedy go to Highlands quickness. So Basie just stepped back at that time, a little confusion defensively getting back. They were not the Clippers on the same page. Looking for a shot. Basie rips down the miss. Lofton Jr. running with, oh my, up he goes with a two hand put down and a foul. I'm trying to go back to my Greek mythology days. Baisley hands it off to Lofton, surveys the scene. He's been given the mid-range jump where he says, don't mind if I do. That's 18 points for Kenny Lofton Jr. Like we see it with Russ, that shiftiness, when there's a sliver of an opening, he got to it. I'm not sure there's a bigger juxtaposition in the league. <laughs> hey, you respond. Deontay George to Lofton. Hit it from the spot just a moment ago and does it again. 20 points for Lofton. We knew there'd be some growing pains, but we really, there wasn't much concern or panic because everyone had the right intent. It was all about winning. It was all about we're at the right stages of our career. We've, by and large, all accomplished the Limiting the Clippers to bad shots. Juzang spins in a triple. Pure three-pointer. A Phoenix team that needed the win to kind of stay in the hunt for a top six spot in the Western Conference. But some wild things happening tonight, maybe just from afar. <laughs> I'm wiping my eyes now. And I, I'm sure the truck has this on tape for future. <laughs> They're going to use it against us in the future. By the ball movement of the Clippers, you know, in that third quarter, got the lead back down, but not giving up two. Get back in there and kind of integrate yourself in to be a valuable asset to your team. Sense of bomb off the window, and now he's starting to kind of heat up a little bit. From Preston to Lofton to Basel. Brandon Boston is flying high in downtown Los Angeles. Samanich gives it to Lofton Jr., knocks it down. It's a four point lead for Utah. Five minutes to play. Probably should have been to keep the ball and make a different play. Lofton Jr. for three. Rebound up for grabs, spiked out of bounds. And then trailed by double figures much of the second half. They've come to life here in the fourth quarter. Keontae George for three in the lead. A big shot for Utah. Kobe Brown, he hit a three earlier. Just a little short. And Orton Tucker with a lead pass to Lofton, makes the grab. Hit it, count it, and a foul for Kenny Lofton Jr. It's now 109-105.